Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Once and Always is a special that celebrates 30 years of the historic Power Rangers franchise. After nearly three decades, original cast members Walter Jones and David Yost return to the iconic roles of Billy Cranston and Zack Taylor. But does this special deliver the powerful punch that we expected it to? What's up, you Mighty Morphin Montiversers? We just watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always. And if you're new to the channel, here's a little background on us. I am a 30-year fan of the Power Rangers franchise. I grew up watching Power Rangers. And Nikki, you are a first-time fan. Well, you are a new fan of Power Rangers because we are documenting your first time watching the series on the channel. So, as a new fan of Power Rangers, I have to ask right off the bat, what are your quick thoughts on the special? I thoroughly enjoyed it. To me, it kind of felt like an elevated... Um, obviously, it's considered a special, so it's, yes. more, it's more than just a t typical episode, but it felt elevated in the story, the production, just everything about it. Um, it still has a lot of that charm to it. I know a lot, I know there's some people that refer to it as being cheap looking or like it has that feeling. But honestly, for considering the series it's a part of, I think it's very fitting. But I still think it's beyond even what we're used to in a regular episode. Yeah. And you bring up a lot of great points. Uh, as a new fan, you are spoiled because <laughs> this does feel concise and store and before i jump into story i just my quick thoughts on the special as a as a long time fan i had expectations and while it didn't meet every expectation i had and while there wasn't a lot of uh mm. answers that we were looking for i didn't need it at the end at the beginning i was looking for the answers to a lot of questions at the end i was just really satisfied that they told this really well done story they executed it perfectly uh the story felt pretty tight and they had an idea they had a story that they wanted to tell and they told it from beginning to end in a very structured way <laughs> and that makes me beyond happy mm -hmm. uh but yeah like i said you're spoiled because this is <laughs> this is one of the only times in power rangers history that they are able to tell a story uninhibited by the restrictions of sentai footage yeah and it feels like that it feels like a story written from beginning to end but that's what's so great is that it feels unrestricted but it still feels part of like part of that kind of production it still feels like power rangers because obviously they're in suit they're out of suit they have the fight scenes they they have kind of all those same elements i guess in the sense but like you said at least they had the freedom to decide what they wanted to do and how that's a great point. Let's touch on that really quickly because uh, a, one of the big one a big review outletter uh, a big re reviewer uh, said that this special felt cheap and there was a lot of cringy dialogue. And to that, I respond: Have you watched Power Rangers? Th this felt at its heart, at its core. This special was Power Rangers. Yeah, like that's fine. Like if that's your opinion of the franchise as a whole, if that's your thoughts. But I think like in this case, it's very much there has to be the caveat of, yeah, maybe it has all those elements, but consider where it's coming from and what it's a continuation of. I mean, this this was never toted as a big blockbuster film. No. This was always designed to be feel like Mm -hmm. a prolonged episode of or an extended episode of the series yeah and it felt like that and if you look at it in that lens it actually feels expensive <laughs> it feels super expensive because some of the effects were really well done mm -hmm. the fight scenes morphed and unmorphed mm -hmm. were really well done the the monster suits they had uh shipped in they were fantastic mm -hmm. uh some of the some of the acting scenes gave me goosebumps. They mm -hmm. were performed so well, so I don't agree with a lot of those sentiments in in those reviews. I I, I would ha I would have to differ disagree, because <laughs> as someone who is a fan of this franchise, this is the best. This is the franchise firing on all cylinders, mm -hmm. and I don't think we could really ask for anything more in terms of direction, writing, acting effects yeah this is this is some of the best power rangers that ever power rangers yeah oh my god 100 percent um and like i was thinking at one point like um because honestly like there's 
basically almost nothing about this that I don't like. I will admit, like, during, um, there's some sequence that's heavy on effects. Yes, it's not, like, MCU-level, like, special Mm. effects that you're gonna get on a hundred million dollar, um, budget film. But... It's sure, sure as hell better than anything in Mighty Morphin. Yeah. And it's still, honestly, all things you see it's good. And it evis- evises that tone that we're used to in Power Rangers. It's it's such a love letter to Mighty Morphin, mm-hmm. but told through the lens of 2023. Yes. Uh, I think Simon Bettit and uh, the writers, Becca Barnes and Alwyn Dale, they did a fantastic job mm-hmm. in terms of some of the shots in this yes. special. As well as the the storyline yeah. for the special itself, I think this is a really really great story mm-hmm. that honors the entire original cast of Power Rangers from the OG five all the way down to the replacement Rangers. Mm-hmm. I think they bent over backwards mm-hmm. to tell a story that honors as many of them as they possibly could mm-hmm. in ways that I think the entire fan base, even all fans from Die hard to casual mm-hmm. will appreciate. Yeah. No, honestly, I honestly I'm very positive on this as a whole. I've, because I don't think there's really a single element that was like distractingly bad. Yeah. I mean, there, there are some hiccups here and there, but Yeah, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but rarely anything is in life. Uh but I am very, very pleased with what we got. I had high expectations coming into this, mm-hmm. and I think looking at it. Mm-hmm. Through the looking glass, now that we're done, mm-hmm. I, my, I I feel satiated on those expectations. Yeah, there's nothing where I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe they like dropped the ball on this, or why didn't this happen? No, I don't think there's anything in particular. Like, sure, would I would have been cool if certain things happened, of course, but I don't think there's anything that I think is super egregious. I think in terms of cast, uh, very easily the stole is, the show is stolen by. Our newcomer Charlie Kirsch, and also returning Walter Jones. I think <laughs> Min Kwan and Zach, they they have a lot of the heavier scenes. Yes. In the special, mm-hmm. and both Charlie and Walter deliver in spades. Mm-hmm. They have great chemistry together. Yeah. I was really blown away by Walter coming in and showing us an evolution of Zach. As a human, as a as a person, but also still echoing the Zach of old, the yeah. Zach of the nineties. Yeah, I, I loved seeing it. I, like honestly, like Charlie Kirsch, holy cow! And she's, I think, only still seventeen. She is so phenomenal in this role, and she like has such a wide array of emotions she has to portray. And she's also like. Just like her fighting is incredibly good. Yeah, she is a she is a uh, young, very talented young martial artist, and she got to stretch both of her, at her both her acting muscles and her actual <laughs> muscles yeah. in the special, and she was great. So hats off to you, Charlie. Fantastic addition to the cast. Fantastic addition to the Power Rangers family. Mm-hmm. Uh, love to see more of you in the future. So don't be a stranger in terms of Power Rangers. That's for sure. David Yost, Billy, great seeing Billy back. Um, temper your expectations with Billy. I know a lot of people have a lot of questions regarding Billy. Just let Billy be Billy. Yeah. And Billy is Billy in this <laughs> special. And I'm very appreciative of that. I think David Yost brings uh, a lot of maturity to Billy. Someone who was already, I mean, it's not like Billy needed more maturity, but he brings that wisdom of, of age to the character. Like how uh, it's less like spastic knowledge like he had in the original, like yeah. bouncing around like, Hey guys, and it's more like I'm a nerd. It's more, I don't know. Uh, it's refined. It's refined. That's the word I'm looking for. Refined <laughs> wisdom, like like he he aged like a fine wine. Yeah. You know, it's just wonderful to see the character of Billy after all of these years, and to just hear about all of his adventures. Um, one really so David also. Mm-hmm. I, there's not a bad performance. There's no one I say did horrible in this. I really think everyone came no. to play. Yeah. yeah. Um, no one was glaringly bad, which no. I think is, I mean, not that it's like the largest cast ever, but all, especially all the returning Rangers. Yeah. I would say that Kat got the next most to do. And then Rocky, unfortunately, as usual, got the short end of the stick. <laughs> um, and not, but again, there, there were no, the stakes weren't as big for Rocky as they were for say Kat. Right. And did, uh, Billy and Zach right. and Min. 
Right. And this is obviously not a commentary on Steve Pardanis' performance. No. This is just, Steve was great. Yeah. Steve was great. Catherine was great. Honestly, it was a joy to watch all of they them. They were all really good, and they all brought these new layers to their characters. Right. In, in you, you know, for as much as they were able to do in the special, like, Steve brought this very jovial... Uh, I was going to say, they all still had attitude. They all still had <laughs> attitude. He was very quippy. Uh, he just, he brought the sense of he loved being in the Rangers. He loved, mm-hmm. loved being a Ranger. He loved helping people. Mm-hmm. So, brought that, uh, Cap brought this uh, maturity of motherhood to the character. You know, that that nurturing, that, that sense of worry, mm-hmm. uh, worrying about her children, worrying about her family. Uh, really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. But uh, that rounds out our Ranger cast. Now... We have to talk about the returning Richard Horvitz. Uh, really good mm-hmm. as Alpha. <laughs> Will not say what number he is because this is non-spoiler. But uh, he re- it really just felt like Alpha again. Mm-hmm. And uh, just, it's like he never left. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> Barbara Goodson. Oh my. It's like not a day has passed since the night early mid 90s My God. in terms of her voice but in terms of performance her yeah. performance gave me chills there were yeah. t- literal times that we were watching this where i was left speechless or i was in shock at some of the lines of dialogue mm-hmm. she had she was openly taunting the rangers about death and she, mm. she she said that she's going to kill them in their sleep like so there was some real darkness there and yeah and that's why i know a lot of people keep kind of saying over and over is this is going to be a darker special this is going to be darker in tone compared to the original series and they're sure as hell right and that's pretty much mostly because of her yeah this ain't your mommy mammy and pappy's uh power rangers that's for sure (laughs) it's there's no destroy or uh it's it's death yeah it's death it's death i will kill you i'm going to kill you Mm -hmm. in your sleep like oh like like literal goosebumps. Yeah, and in like, terms of her performance. And like the scenes where certain things happen, like during fights, it's more even like based on what we expected was more intense than we thought was gonna yeah. happen. <laughs> the the stakes are real. Things could happen. Like it's not like an episode of Power Rangers where everything's gonna get wrapped up and everyone's gonna go have yeah. a shake at the juice bar there, afterwards. There's not some stupid monster who makes something weird happen and they yeah. like just destroy them and then Rita like whines about it. There's no? actual stakes to the special. People die. Um, people get seriously hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, so anything could happen. And I really appreciate that sense of dread that you have because you don't like going into fight scenes. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And mm-hmm. oof, there's just so much good to talk about without spoiling it. Yeah. And I think a big thing for me is even though I think a lot of what happened is kind of what we expected. There was still just enough surprise in how it yes. unfolded that it was never, oh, this is predictable. I like. Inter- we never felt bored. No. There was always things. There was always, it was a sensory experience because there were things in the background, things in the foreground. A lot of fun surprises mm-hmm. for fans of, like I said, casual fans, longtime fans. You will feel rewarded mm-hmm. uh, in this special. Mm-hmm. But. I think that we should wrap this up because we're getting. I'm getting close to spoiling things oh, inadvertently because I, I want to talk about them so bad. Right. But, but <laughs> Nikki, on a scale of one to five, power morphers, what would you rate this special? Ooh, that is that's tough because, like we were saying, I mean, with the context of Power Rangers and what what we were kind of expecting, I would pretty easily give this. I said it was hard. Okay, it was easy now. Um, I would give this a four out of five. I think that's very that's very good because I think as a Power Ranger special, it's pretty pheno- more phenomenal. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, it's not perfect. There's certainly yeah. things that would have been nice to expand upon, or it's again not blockbuster special effects, but the story is strong. The performances are great, and I think for what they were working with, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Fair enough. And I think that's a very fair rating. And I'm really excited that you rated it that high because you're a new fan of the franchise. So oh, yeah. that's really cool to me. Yeah. And I mean, just quickly, if I had never seen Power Rangers before, I probably still would have enjoyed it. It definitely helps having some level of connection. And 
trust me, I haven't watched the entire franchise, so I there's still stuff I'm not abreast to. So okay, and I still liked it. All right, uh, wrap it up because I have to give my rating now. All right, guys, I know you've been anticipating this. My rating for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always is four and a half morphers out of five. I was wondering, it is morphers, isn't it? It's morphers. <laughs> I literally said it before I, the second before I threw it to you. Um, and yeah, I I really love this. And again, I went into this with high expectations. Mm -hmm. And no, they didn't deliver on all those expectations, but they gave me something that, I, like I said, it's not everything that I wanted, but it's everything I needed. Yeah. And that, to me, is the most important part of this special. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's honoring my childhood. It's honoring the franchise. It is Mighty Morphin to its core. And for me to expect it to be anything else is on me. Mm -hmm. And rating it for what it, what it is, it's damn near perfect. Mm -hmm. There's some things I would tweak here and there. But all in all, hats off to the entire cast and crew. Because you could tell they put a lot of effort into this. And we are both very appreciative of all the work you put in. Yeah, and just uh, like on a quick note, if this is like what we're getting now, I'm even more excited for Cosmic Fury. Yeah, this has my expectations. For, my expectations for Cosmic Fury are high. This <laughs> this lets me know like, okay, the bar, you set the bar here. <laughs> the bar is here now, guys. Don't lower it. Yeah. Because this is where my expectations are. Mm -hmm. But we will be talking spoilers on Once and Always on a live stream Friday night. So come hang out with us to talk spoilers for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always and be a part of the discussion. If you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content because we've got Power Ranger content flying all over the place this week. It is Power Rangers week on the Montiverse. And until next time, guys, stay versed and may the power protect you.